All right, greetings everybody. Today is a bad hair day. All right, I'm gonna show you three cool tricks that you can use to make cigar box guitar necks. So what I did is I went down to the big box store and I got solid pieces of two by, I'm sorry, one and a half by one and a half. I got pieces of oak, um, some poplar, they're about 36 inches long. And this one here, it looks like it's, it's already been glued Right, of course it is one and a half by one and a half. And what I did is I um, just got my cigar box, right? Put it on there where it needed to be, got out my templates out, everything, everything, and I just drew exactly the shape of what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to have a, a, a kind of a scarf joint appearance on the top, and then of course a fretboard on the top, and then notched out and then cut off exactly where it needed to be, right? So that's the very first thing. When I did that, and cut it out, again, that one piece, cut out the back here, um, got my file, filed it down, cut out for the notch. This one here just happened to have a top layer that was the exact same thickness as a fretboard. How coincidental. I lucked out. This one here has the same thing, but it's white wood. So this is going to be a very interesting neck. Anyhow, so that's the very first thing, right? A one piece of one and a half by one and a half, 36 inches long, draw everything out, cut everything out. That's the first trick. The second trick is to get these um, sanding sponges. Oh, here's a brand new one. And these things work so good to, uh, after you cut out the neck and you sand it, rough sand it, and you want to start putting a nice polish on it, these sponges, man, I tell you what, they work miracles. This thing is so, like smooth like glass. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so the third trick, um, I had some of these door nails left over from a uh, renovation product. What I did is I went and got my extra heavy duty bolt cutters, right? Yeah, cut that thing in half and then insert it into the um, soldering iron, right? flat end, right? and that makes um, an awesome, awesome hot little surface to put these um, burn big round circular things in your position markers there. Um, the other side of it, I kind of ground it down with my grinder and I made a point, um, kind of a round um, not pointy point, but a round point again. And that, that's so I can put like a little dot on this side. That's an actually big dot, you know, not just a little tiny little dot, but, and so burning those position markers in there with, uh, recycled dead doornails. All right. So there are three cool tricks that you can use to build your next three string cigar box guitar neck.